We're in Windows 10. I'm going to show you how to set up a VPN connection so you can VPN into your office. So first thing you want to do is open up Control Panel. And if you need to get to Control Panel and know how to find it, just go to the Start button, type in Control Panel. Uh, you can also right click on the Start button and you'll see Control Panel as well. All right, once you're in Control Panel, just go ahead and click on Network and Sharing Center. And we're going to click on Set up a new connection or network choose connect to a workplace a VPN click next click use my VPN and we're going to type in uh, the name that the uh, office has given us I'm just going to create a fake one and the destination uh, name we're going to change uh, to office VPN just so we know it's our office if you have a smart card you can check the box there if not just keep on going you can also check the box or not the same remember my credentials. Uh, if you want, if other people log into this computer under different profiles or you do yourself, you can check the box to allow them to connect as well. Go ahead and click create. Now it's going to try to uh, connect after it creates the connection. So let's go ahead and when we get to that point, uh, we're going to go and uh, right click on it. And we have an option here to clear the save sign-in info or click on connect. If we click on connect, it's going to prompt us for our username and password. All right, so we're going to go ahead and click connect. We're going to type in just fake information here. And it's and we're going to type in a password. We're going to click OK. And, of course, it's going to fail. So now that we've done that, <clears throat> we can... Go back to change adapter settings and we can see our VPN connection. Right click and go to our properties. And from here, uh, we can make some changes that will actually make your VPN connection run a lot faster. So uh, one of the things we can do is to go to the security tab and hit the type of VPN. Now a lot of offices use either point to point or SSTP. Very few use LTTP, L LT2P or uh, Ike version 2. Ike, is, Ike version 2 is uh, something that's very nice when they're slow connections, but you have to be set up on the server for that as well, and most servers are not. SSTP is the new secure socket or HTTPS type of connectivity. L2TP is definitely an, an older one. And then PPTP is, is also older, but it has been updated with some new technology. So let's just say that point-to-point uh, -point is the one that your company uses, so we'll choose that. Instead of choosing automatic, where it just scrolls through all the different ones until it finally finds the one that connects, and sometimes that takes a lot longer. Next thing we can do to speed up our connection is to go to networking and double click on TCP IP version 4. Now we want to leave the automatic address assignment up, but we do want to change the DNS to a static IP address. So ask your network administrator or if you're the network administrator, just put in whatever IP address uh, is of your DNS server on the network. So once we do that, the name resolution will happen much faster than if, if you use DHCP for that. Click on Advanced and then uncheck the box that says Use Default Gateway on Network, Remote Network. If you leave the box checked, that means all your traffic will go through your office, even your own web browsing. If you uncheck it, then only VPN traffic will go through the VPN uh, gateway and all your other traffic will go out to your normal gateway and it will be uh, uh, not encrypted and not traceable from the office VPN. All right, so once you're all done with that, you can go into DNS if you want, add additional DNS servers. If you have a Win server, you can do that as well, but most offices don't anymore. And then click OK, click OK, and then when you connect, your connection speed will be much faster and your name resolution will be much faster as well.